Uh oh. <laughs> We're in the car this time to start, damn it. We're fucking on the way to the gym. Goodness gracious. Well, let me tone it down a little bit. You don't get too excited here. But, changing it up. Some of you motherfuckers are ripping on my casting couch. I don't like that. I'm just kidding. But, no, we had some really good, positive feedback on the first video. So, I'm really happy with that. A lot of you guys liked it. Left some good comments. Gave me some things that, you know, may work on. And I'm always open for it. A man of the people, as I said. But, uh, nonetheless, today is leg day. Goodness gracious. Now, some of you may hate leg day. But you would really hate this one. This is hamstrings and glutes. Not that it's hard, it's just... Not as eventful as some may say. But, you know, we're still going to push hard and uh, give it all we have. But a little less intensity. No failure this week. It's a deload week for me. Now, some of you may be saying, well, what the fuck did you convert to? Well, <laughs> a little interruption there. Fucking you guys went flying under my passenger seat. Pulled out way too damn quick. So, sorry about that, but... Oh, we're about halfway to the gym already. It's not a far drive for me, but um, anyway, what I was saying is, is I'm taking a deload week this week, so no failure, three to four reps in reserve. And now some of you may be saying, well, isn't that some powerlifter shit? Did you convert to powerlifting? Fuck no. No rips on, not trying to rip on powerlifters, but I'm never going to be a powerlifter. I'm only a bodybuilder. But no, you take deloads in bodybuilding, especially if you train with the um, high intensity style training. You're gonna you're gonna need a deload. Uh, fatigue's gonna build up, especially too dieting because you know I'm dieting down, so lost over you know almost 25 pounds. That fatigue's gonna build up, so you gotta manage that. So taking a deload this week, so. He uh, gave me a diet break. Now, some of you may think, well, what the hell's a diet break? Does that mean, you know, you cheat all week? No, hell no. All that means is we dropped my protein a little bit. Uh, and I'll explain that in a little bit because some of you now are like, holy shit, dropped your protein. What the fuck? But no, um, dropped the protein, took some of the calories from the protein um, and put them, distributed them into carbs and fats. So for more um energy resources so my carbs are up almost 100 grams you guys fell again so we're at the gym we were only like a minute away when you guys fell again so um you have to probably try and figure something out but anyway that's beyond the point so we upped our carbs 100 grams uh up our fats 10 grams um so now we have more energy sources coming to our bodies so we dropped the protein a little bit just so we could take some of that um calories from there and put it into carbs and proteins and upped calories 300 um upped them 300 calories so um don't worry my protein's still a gram per pound of body weight so don't worry about that but for the deload workouts all we're doing is we're just not going to failure three to four reps in reserve doing that for the whole week just take it nice and easy all you're doing is getting a pump and just you know chilling back but um yeah so we're here, I'm gonna go hit leg day, and um, I'll catch you guys. Um, you're getting a voiceover this time, so I'll throw in a little cues, tips and tricks. Let's go through the workout, um, and yeah, so, gonna go get after it. All right, what is up, you goofy goobers? So here we have the first exercise, lying leg curls. So, cues I'm thinking about here, is squeezing my glutes to really activate those hamstrings and get the most out of this movement. Just really driving my legs up three seconds on the way down the eccentric part of the movement. No pause or hold at the top or the bottom. When I'm in my warm up sets, I will hold at the top longer for like one to two seconds to really pump the hamstring full of blood and uh, make sure it's activated properly. And I'll even squeeze my hamstring before I even get on the machine, just really activate the hamstring because sometimes I'll have a trouble activating it. But if you do that, your hamstrings will be on fire. Here we have the barbell RDL. This is the compound movement of the uh, lift. What I'm thinking about is pushing my ass as far as I can back 
kind of having a lot of pressure on my heels. Not too much. You want to be balanced throughout your foot because otherwise you will fall backwards. Uh, by pushing your butt back, you're going to minimize your low back introduction and really focus on the hamstrings and the glutes. Uh, you are going to still feel your low back, of course, because it's a low back movement along with the hamstrings and glutes, uh, and it will work your erectors. Uh, here we have the split squats, rear elevated split squats. So here I'm lowering the weight for three seconds, um, a little two-second pause at the bottom, Really focus on working the glutes here as opposed to the quads, so less knee flexion, just trying to sit into this movement vertically instead of uh, leaning forward. Of course, your quads are going to activate here somewhat because that's just what's going to happen. Uh, your knee's flexing, so by that knee flexion, your quad is going to activate, so you will have a nasty quad pump with this too, but try and minimize that knee flexion by just sitting vertically into the movement, and your glutes will be on fire. I mean, they will be on fire. By the end of the movement, I really can feel my ass firing, especially in my tie-ins, which some of you not in the bodybuilding realm aren't going to know what that is. That's just where your glute and hamstring connects, and um, which is what you want as a bodybuilder. Uh, as a guy, you still need an ass, especially in bodybuilding, because you want those striated glutes on stage. And if you don't have glutes, there's nothing to be striated on stage. So there you have it. Now we're on to adductors. So you got to do these. Uh, some of you may know this as one of the sus machines. Uh, good girls, as a lot of you may know them as. Do them. If you want thick legs, do these. Because this gets your inner thigh going and burning. And you will have very thick and full legs. I kid you not, it works. Uh, I started doing these probably about a year ago, and then my coach has me doing these. These make a huge difference, especially if you are a bodybuilder. Do not not do these. These are a very important movement in your leg development. Very neglected, but if you do these and you go with hard effort, you will have very big legs. You will more than likely have to stop training your legs eventually if you have genetically gifted legs. Um, I can usually f throw on an extra plate plus to the whole stack. Um, of course, this week I don't have as much weight on because it's my deload week, but I will stack this up with a lot of weight and I'm still stretching and opening my hips as much as I can. That's my max range of motion, but um, just stretch your legs apart as far as possible really open those hips of course don't pull your groin but really open those hips next we have everyone's favorite leg extensions everyone does these for their leg development it's a great movement don't stack too much weight on these i used to stack more weight on this and me and my coach have had to correct this movement like three times i kid you not just small, minute details, and it's nothing bad, nothing I'm necessarily doing wrong. It's just we want the most out of the movement. So really what I'm focusing on here is really trying to squeeze at the top the best I can. Um, and then really slow negative, three-second negative, a pause at the top. You don't need a pause at the bottom, but make sure you get that full stretch at the bottom. Don't cheat it. If the weight stack hits or like gr touches barely, that's honestly good because you're getting a full stretch on that quad. Make sure you sit the seat back far enough so that uh, you're sitting back and really lock yourself into that seat. Make sure your hips and glutes aren't coming off the seat and you will feel the burn on your quads. Last but not least, we have standing calf raises. If your gym has a standing calf raise machine, use the standing calf raise machine. It's more stable and it's just overall better. If not, you can grab one of these Pilates platforms that they'll use in like the group gym classes. Your gym has these. I know they do. They're used for step ups and all that. Slap one of those down. Use your Smith machine. Load a good amount of weight up. You don't need to be scared to use a lot of weight because it's standing calf raises. So your whole body is involved. So you'll use a quite a bit of amount of weight. But of course, use what you can handle. So right here, we're doing a hold at the top. Really squeeze the hell out of those calves. Three seconds on the way down, pause at the bottom. That pause at the bottom stretches your tibialis muscle, which gives more thickness to your calf. 
A lot of people lack that pause at the bottom. If you pause at the bottom, your calves will be thick. And not necessarily the calf part, but that front part of your calves, calf, that tibialis, that will become thick with that pause at the bottom. Do that on all your calf movements, your seated calf raises, any calf raise variation that you do. Uh, I do standing calf raise on this leg day, obviously, and then on my quad focus leg day, I do the seated calf raise. So very good movement to do. And here we have some physique updates. So overall, filling out quite nice uh, this week due to the more carbs and the deload. So really uh, full, but um, overall, everything's growing and coming up. Hamstrings definitely came up a lot and are hanging off the bone. So happy with this look. I'm ready to uh, keep getting leaner, but overall happy. Catch you guys in the car. Fucking leg day complete. That is a wrap. Well, let's get out of here. So, you know, took a little longer than I expected, but freaking get to talking, you know, that's what happens when, you know, half the damn gym. Fuck. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing at the same time, you know, people acknowledge you but at the same time it's like damn i just want to fucking get my workout in but nonetheless it's a deload week so if this is the week to do it this is the fucking week to do it so uh i'm not complaining like i said a little longer than i expected but not too bad you gotta be careful with fucking turning so you guys don't go flying under my fucking seat but anyway so Hope you guys enjoyed that little voiceover and that, but let's get to the chit chat. Some of you guys may be wondering, do I have a post-workout shake? I do not. I do not have a protein shake after. I do not have like a creatine shake or a, a dextrose shake. None of that. I go home and I eat. Now, you may be thinking, but well, you're going to miss the anabolic window. Hold your horses. The anabolic window does not exist. You still believe that. I'm concerned for your mental health, but uh, the fucking anabolic window doesn't exist. I mean, to an extent, of course. I mean, you don't need a fucking rush within 15 minutes if you don't get a form of protein or carbohydrate, food, anything, you know, that you're going to shrivel away, you know, and die you know, or not me, your workout's not going to count, like, that's preposterous, you don't even need to go home and eat right away, like, because most of the time, you're not going to be hungry right after workout. and now, if you are, that's great, I'm not one of those people, but, you know, go home, eat my post-workout meal, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because, well, I, I, I got to create a full day of eating, right, so if I tell you what it is, you know, like, uh, then there's no full day of eating. So, but it was a pretty good workout. Got a good pump. You know, as you saw in the little progress videos there, I think the hamstring's really hanging, which is, which is a good sign. Legs are filling up because no cardio this week. And two, I'm not going to be doing the stairs, so they're not going to get eaten away by the stairs. I was losing, lost about an inch over a couple weeks, but it's not really that bad. There was a lot of, lot basically of like fullness and such but it will return so uh yeah that was that i can't think what should i talk about well first something i've been thinking about recently is i hear all you people saying he's him i'm him all this him stuff now first of all the only him is jesus christ I will tell you that. But two, if you're all him, there is no him. You are all just them. Uh, I kind of find it a little funny that, you know, a lot of people are be saying, I'm him, but, uh, like, you can't all be him. I think it's just a little cringy, you know. Like, no hate, you know. And if you comment that on something, I'm not going to get upset. 
I just, food for thought as such. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people like the first video. Uh, I shouldn't say a lot, but, you know, an amount sum of people, you know, don't have, like, a ton of people, like, watching. But, you know, for those who are, I'm glad you stuck around to become a little more silly, to become a silly willy, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to talk about, should this be the outro, nah, it's not gonna be the outro, there's gotta be something to talk about, into, I think we do an outro on the couch, gotta always end with the couch, until further notice, but, uh, to be determined, but, I mean, overall, we're getting leaner, people are noticing, it's always a good thing, but, you know, it's summer now here, not going to disclose my location, because why would I, (laughs) but it is nice here, so, you know, getting outside, getting some sun, it's always good for you, a lot of you motherfuckers need some vitamin D, you're lacking vitamin D, I'm lacking vitamin D, you need to get some color on my skin, so, and if you're lacking vitamin D, you need to supplement with it. But, uh, nonetheless, pretty, it's been pretty easy, you know? No school. Just been bodybuilding and content creating. Fuck, you didn't go flying. But, nonetheless, pretty good, pretty good time, as the videos become more advanced, I'll bring you guys along on some vlogs and stuff and whatnot, I really don't do too much, so, uh, if I do do something, and it's on that day that I decide to record, I'll bring you guys along, but otherwise, I like to live in the moment, have some fun, and, uh, you know, don't want to go crazy with this content creation that I'm a cringy, you know, a cringe fest. But um, you guys had to go flying one more time. You fucking assholes. But nonetheless, um, yeah. Concludes the car talk, but um, I know some of you wanted to see a little different scenery. You got what you wanted. Don't know how often I'll be doing the car ride. My phone's fucking flying everywhere. It's not fucking the move. But, um, I'll still, I'll still give you some car talks. Maybe when we're parked, not on the move. You may not get it on the move necessarily. Because I don't feel like driving safe enough so the phone doesn't fly everywhere. But, um, we're definitely gonna, uh, there you go. I'm definitely gonna give you guys an outro. This is not the outro. It's just a wrap up on the workout, but I think everything was smooth. I hope you like the little tips and tricks I gave you, but, um, I'll catch you guys on the couch. All right, guys, that wraps up and concludes this video. I thank everyone who's clicked on this video and watched this. I really appreciate you guys to all, uh, the people who have subscribed so far, I really do appreciate it and the likes and all the comments. So thank you all. Um, the support does mean truly a lot to me. Uh, I know we're just starting out and uh, I hope to keep growing and doing this. But um, overall, I really am having fun doing this. A uh, little different style uh, this week. Kind of took some of you guys' feedback. So I hope you all really liked it. What I plan on doing is... I think I'm going to throw up um, some like discussion boxes or like things you can put question in, questions or like discussion topics up on my Instagram story uh, like once, two times or more a week just so I can have something to talk about in the car or sit down on the couch and go over. It's basically kind of like a Q&A every week. Um, all questions, all topics are open for discussion. I don't mind talking about anything political uh societal lifting 
like just anything sports anything you want me to talk about i'm really pretty much an open book when it comes to anything so uh throw them in the comment section uh i will put up something on my instagram story for uh future videos but um i think that concludes it all um my instagram and tiktok um handle is in the description and in my youtube bio um i have a link tree in my instagram uh, for all my socials. So um, just check me out, keep up on the um, stuff I put out on socials. But I really do appreciate everyone who's uh, watching this and continues to support me. So I thank you guys and I will catch you soon.